friends, soon to be parents, and all guardians. Welcome to Life with Little Ones channel. And in my today's video, I will discuss about how to reduce stress and how to keep the joy in parenthood. Parenting tips, ways to lower stress and increase joy as a parent. In this presentation, I will discuss about how to reduce stress, how to keep the joy in parenthood, learning to manage stress, and importance of routine. What they don't tell you is that, as soon as you become a mother, the waves of stress coming rolling in one after another, while the position brings with it some of the best perks you can imagine, the fun, the growth, and the love, it can also include a fair amount of work, frustration, and strain. But learning to manage stress can give you the patience, energy, and perspective to be the parent you want to be. The constant worry of being a good parent persists. We start looking for parameters to judge our parenting. Am I a strict parent? If this question cross your mind, you have arrived at your destination. Clear your mind with a refreshing conversation that will solve all your doubts. Every child is unique and so their needs. Therefore, every parenting style will be unique. To be a stress-free mother, you must pick up the following tips. Number 1. You are a mother, not a coach. Focus on the real duties of being a mother. Impart values, have conversation, spending time on teaching and cooking can be done by other professionals as well. Number 2. Try not to bring stress home. Is traffic increasing your stress? If so, try to chill. Take a deep breath and play music. There is nothing better than coming home to a warm welcome from your kids and family. If not, find your child and get a hug. Number 3. Remember to relax and recharge. Take time for yourself every day, even if it's just an hour in the evening after the kids go to bed. It is really important to have time to reset as a parent. One of the best ways for mothers to reduce stress is to cherish the joys of motherhood, to really enjoy their kids and make the most of all the gifts and benefits that come with being a mother. You probably know what works for you, whether it's yoga, meditation, reading a book, playing cards, watching TV, or playing sports. Try to incorporate it into your day. Number 4. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Sometimes we feel like we put so much pressure on ourselves and our kids to be perfect. So many people worry about having their kids in the best sports and at the best schools and we can't say that we don't stress about this as well. The same thing goes with meals. Don't stress about having the perfect dinner. Number 5. Listen to your body. It is important to take care of yourself, to learn how to relax, to stop stress from holding you back from doing what you love. Take care of your body by eating the right foods, drinking enough water, and taking supplements that will help you. Number 6. Focus on the positive. We ask our kids at dinner, tell me one good thing happened to you today, or tell me what your favorite part of the day. We never ask them about the worst part of their day because we want them to focus on the positive. It makes you see things in a better light. I even use this reward system to focus on the positive and it works wonderfully in our home. Number 7. Have routine. In my opinion, routine is the key to any successful day. Our kids know just what to expect from our day and it makes things so much easier. Just as you would wake up, brush your teeth, and get dressed, the kids have come to learn their routines and do the same thing. They know what will be happening next. It makes life so much easier to be on schedule, in my opinion, as long as you are okay to be flexible when you need to be. Number 8. Hugs and quality time. If your kids are not feeling well, there is nothing like a hug from mom to make them feel better. And this was actually shown in a study. Hugs are proven to help our kids, so do it more often. Plus, it raises endorphins in both you and your child, 
so you put them up happier and less stress. Spend time with them, just listening and talking. Draw pictures together, go on a walk and talk. Make muffins with them. Number 9. Say I love you often. Everyone needs to hear that they are valued and loved. Make it a point to remind your kids every single day that you love them and throughout the day. So there you have it, the secrets to being a happy mom, stress-free parents. Remember these quotes, happiness is a choice, not a result. Nothing will make you happy until you choose to be happy. No person will make you happy unless you decide to be happy. Your happiness will not come to you. It can only come from you by Ralph Martson. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our web channel and press the button below. If you are a parent watching this, please comment below and share your experience how to deal with the stress while parenting. Thank you and hope to see you on my next video.